Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Back with another four videos for you. Uh, actually, I had a few more fragrances uh, to show you today, um, but I decided to do four because too much <laughs> review upload. Many people do not watch, I think, but four is already a lot. So I'd like to start with, uh, once again, an excellent fragrances, Nixon Diaz Bhai. Uh, his channel is called The Smelly Cat. Uh, very interesting name. Uh, he came out recently with uh, three fragrances in his line, and I'm pretty sure many more to come. So thank you so much, Nixon Bhai, for your uh, releases and stuff so i'm not quite sure how you pronounce this it's called smooth oud i think s m o u d smooth uh, oud okay so this extra perform 50 ml this is the last of the bunch before this i did review uh, two days back i reviewed green mango and arabian sea both of them were champions one got 10 arabian sea from me other one got nine so today as i told you i am ranking them in a way like the this one the oud one usually i'm not the biggest fan of oud but this is still pretty wearable oud and we'll look at this okay thank you so much for the nadir bhai arabian arabian shelf page um sorry a little bit out of breath uh, lately the weather has been really bad uh, every now and then i feel weak so if you have difficulty hearing me i apologize but thank you nixon bhai uh, for your wonderful releases and wish you all the best for your future ventures i'm pretty sure many more to come and we would actually uh, eagerly wait will actually be eagerly waiting and another fun fact is that these fragrances wherever got distributed got sold out all of them you know i think bangladesh people are looking for them like a lot people ask me i think uh, he's gonna send a few more to you guys so be wait for that okay so let's try this first thing first is the presentation i've shown you all of them basically have the similar presentation but i show you still anyway so this is that oud fragrance release nxn uh, perfume uh, here and then the extra day perform highest concentration uh, before oil okay i think something like it okay so this is made in uae really really nice presentation these are like 40 dollars more or less in bangladesh perhaps in future prices can vary i'm not sure how much is it overseas so when you open this you see almost there there's a magnet here this one closes the box nicely so it stays intact it doesn't fall nice touch this nice little sticker and when you open it i already got the bottle so nothing to worry it has this nice little coffin in there okay how do i show you uh there uh, yeah there's a it's very really dark in there but nice little velvety texture in there very very nice padding and stuff like that beautiful presentation i must say niche quality presentation the bottle basically follows suit with the other ones they all have a similar bottle but a little bit different color of uh, i think uh sticker okay here is the sticker okay it reads all the ingredients just like the box let me read out berries thyf rose cypriol patchouli sandalwood and oud okay and let me show you once more the cap it's wooden cap really nice quality very very premium look to the bottle and i like this cute little bottles for 50 ml you can see through the bottle for juice sprayer is okay gives out nice sort of a cloud okay shoots out nice and some people may want like a more straightforward more powerful juice but i think this ones are built in a way because these are highly concentrated so a 50 ml bottle if you have very good spray to run out very very quickly and you actually spray a lot more than you want so i guess the sprayer distribution is good for it but personally i prefer uh, stronger uh, atomizers which like say chanel or aventus they just or creeds they just give out a lot of juice okay uh, maybe one spray would be good with this i'll go like two to three sprays so this one not to start with a negative uh, note that this is my least liked it doesn't mean i don't like it it's nice but as i told you oud is not my strong forte in bangladesh most of the year it stays pretty hot and humid i do like some designer ouds but in general oud is not my favorite area i don't wear so much of oud because it gets me headache high heat they really really project a lot and becomes animalic especially the realistic oud agar oud type fragrance but let's say oud is done a little bit polished more wearable and uh, in a way that it, it has a lot of other notes let's say it's kind of like a gourmand or um, i don't know sweet uh, you know candy type oud then you can pull it off still oud rose is very difficult so this one has both oud and rose but the surrounding notes berries uh, cypriol oil patchouli sandalwood uh, when i smell this this is basically a very very uh, tame sort of oud like uh, in a way it's good because i don't like uh, loud animalic skank oud this is very sweet Thai rose kind of very safely played i think very unisex as well anybody who like this basically anybody it's a very uh, mass pleasing crowd pleaser sort of a fragrance okay it's nothing to do with rose and oud combo if you're scared of those like mansara or montals 
this one won't disturb you so it's a very inoffensive fragrance okay it's very good to wear for office daily usage uh, women would love wearing this a lot uh, but this fragrance you know still some people may say it's too sweet the rose i don't like rose or this sort of like an ambery touch somewhere some people may not like that so i would say this is something you should try first okay do not blind buy perhaps because rose is not everybody's uh, favorite but i would say you know looking at his house he making every single fragrance other two as well even though they're very creative and very gutsy but i never found them to be unwearable so is this this is very wearable but uh, this is my least favorite in the line uh, if you ask me out of the three number one is arabian sea number two is green mango and this is the third one but i would still rate this pretty highly i would give this like a 7.5 out of 10 because it has a nice aura about it it's nice it has decent longevity but not quite a beast mode fragrance i think i got with this like five to six hours in high heat perhaps in winter it will have better performance but uh, out of the three i felt this was a little bit like uh toned down you know like first one was for me is green mango second was arabian sea third one is this for longevity so give it a try i mean it's a nice fragrance if you like to get something to support him you know like he's a nice guy and he's putting his effort giving you a fragrance it's not easy if you involve in your process uh, you'll see it's not really easy to come out with the product and uh, putting your heart and soul out there okay uh, physically it's like it's your baby right i understand nixon by this is the sentiment if i was producing a perfume i would Feel the same way but uh unbiased opinion this fragrance you can actually like let's say honestly speaking even though i received it as a gift i'll tell you you can live without it other two i think are very very unique especially honestly speaking the arabian sea and the green mango these two are very very distinctive this one you get this kind of uh, fragrance in many middle eastern style perfume but good quality so really better quality even al haramein doesn't have this kind of quality for me they are very synthetic plasticky smells and this one it's much better quality it's actually borderline niche quality so you can give it a try if you like rosewood combo with a little bit of amber sweetness and there is some sort of berries i don't really find that berry so much i get kind of like a beautiful sweet fruity i think of kind of like gucci just let me show you last comparison if you dig gucci guilty oud these are kind of similar style but gucci one is a bit darker okay in my humble opinion that one has a lot of realistic berry note this one has just some fruity notes thai rose amber and kind of like a very mild oud okay so i'll give this 7.5 out of 10 overall give it a try smooth oud i think i'm sorry if i butchered the name i hope to see many more reviews from many other reviews reviewers thank you very much for watching time to move on to the second review take care i'll see you soon thanks nixon bye bye, -bye.